Welcome to this week's episode of the Saber Roar. I'm Danny. And I'm Ann. School lunches, staff members, security, it all costs money. And this year, the funds have been reduced. Careful consideration goes into the high school's funding each year. With having to cut $1.6 million from the budget, the district chose to save money by cutting down on the staff. Nine total positions were cut from full to part-time, and two jobs were completely eliminated. Seven staff members were cut from their benefits out of 11 eligible, and four positions were cut from the high school alone. According to the Wisconsin Education Association Council No. 10, FHS was granted over a million dollars in government funding intending to provide compensation for staff. FHS principal Mr. Katie says that one counselor along with one librarian position have been reinstated. However, most of these funds have been strategically saved in order to reduce budget cuts for next year. The ultimate goal of these cuts was to reduce benefit costs, but as a result, hours of FHS staff and security have been reduced, and most importantly, the direct educational support between students and staff has suffered. Since these recent budget cuts were imposed, this class will be phased out as well. Just kidding, but back to a serious note, this has been a promising year for FHS athletics. At the beginning of the season, the guys' volleyball team had high expectations. At this point of the season, they have met all of them. Now that the boys' volleyball team has received the title of conference champs for the second year in a row, they are on the road to state. Having gotten a bye for the first round allowed for extra practice time to prepare for round two. Uh, we were pretty confident coming into this game because we beat them pretty handily earlier in the year. Uh, today, you know, we came out, we knew we had to pass well and block well. Uh, we did a very good job of passing throughout the game. Got some big blocks late and that propelled us to victory. With one more step out of the way, it is clear to see the players focus on the future. State has always been the goal for us and hopefully doing well at State. From all of us here at the Sabre Road, we wish the volleyball team the best of luck. The Sabres made it to the quarterfinal but ended up losing to Marquette. Congratulations on the great season. Maybe the state championship will be yours next year. This year, the Sabre Academy put together a food drive for the Hunger Task Force. The students of the Sabre Academy learn through real-life experiences. They recently learned that Milwaukee is fourth in the nation for poverty. In response, they are running a food drive at Franklin High School. We reached out to the entire school and we're sending the boxes around all the classrooms and it kind of became a big collaborative effort, which I thought was pretty cool. The Sabre Academy put boxes in each resource classroom. They are holding a contest to see which resource period can donate the most. The winners will receive a donut party. If you missed out on this, you still have a chance to make a difference. You know, um, Pick and Saves are collecting food, Walmart's collecting food, so anything for the Hunger Task Force, you'll see big Hunger Task Force boxes. Please help by donating because this is one list that Milwaukee does not want to be on. Thanks to all of the classes that participated. Another great way FHS gave back to the community was this year's blood drive put together by the Blood Center of Wisconsin. Recently, the Blood Center of Wisconsin blood drive was back at Franklin High School. We've been doing blood drives at Franklin High School as long as I've been here, and I've been here since 1996. The blood drive touches many lives all around the United States. We just help millions of people, and I've been doing this, I'm a volunteer, and I've been doing it for about a year and a half. Each donation can save up to three lives. Many students and staff got involved by volunteering and by donating blood throughout the day. This was greatly appreciated by the Blood Drive staff and its beneficiaries. Many new changes came with a block schedule this year. One of them is the addition of the third lunch. The new block schedule has instituted many changes for the students. Due to the addition of a third lunch, students' stomachs have had troubles with the new bell schedule. The lunch staff, however, has had a little more difficulty adjusting. The third lunch has been a really huge adjustment for our department. We had to revise every job description of the 16 employees that we have here in the kitchen. The last lunch hour runs about a half an hour later than we previously were scheduled to work. Many students have noticed a difference in the amount of kids who have been buying school lunches. More people have been taking hot lunch, and again, I think some of the students who didn't want to wait in line previously are now trying uh, some of our meals occasionally. This is Mike, reporting for the Saber Road. This is a major change that we're all going to have to get used to over the course of the next year. This just in. My God. Famed actor Hugh Jackman successfully rid his property of a bunch of monks who were selling 
setting up stands outside of his house. The police forced the friars to leave the property and take down those stands where they had been selling flowers. Said one reporter, if it had been anyone else, they would have gotten away with it. Well, it just goes to show only you can prevent florist friars. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Well, uh, I guess all that's the time we have for today. I'm Danny, and I'm taking over the newsroom.